What's up guys, this is Foden here with a little tutorial about rendering in Cinema 4D. Now I've had a few people come up to me and said, you know, um, I can't render this out, how do I render this? Um, and there's been a few questions on the rendering sort of uh, aspect of things, but um, this tutorial is going to be about the problems you may come across when wanting to render. So, fuck off. So if you want to say, I don't know, save a frame, like a save a picture, so if I get my Assassin's Creed model up, which I posted the other day, in the breakdown video, if you haven't seen that, go and see that, that's very useful, and it doesn't want to open it, does it, um, one minute, there we go, so, say I just want to save the picture, you would go into the render settings, you would go to output, you, uh, sorry, output, where it says frame range, you want that at current frame, that means whatever frame you are on down here, it will just save a picture of that frame. But to save a picture, you need to go to save and you need to select the format, so you need a picture format. So there's no good doing like a quick time movie if you just want a picture. So um, PNG I'd recommend, um, because say I just wanted to render this guy out, no background, um, what you do is you will select alpha channel and just select PNG and that will just render out this guy here because PNG has sort of the alpha channel with it, JPEGs and that don't uh, but you need to select alpha channel in order for that to work if you want the background don't select alpha channel um, you can still do PNG um, PNG is sort of like a high quality picture I think compared to JPEG so um, yeah that's that's one of the main problems. You need to select your frame range and your format. They're the most important things when it comes to rendering. Um, now, another thing is videos, which I'll go through. Obviously, if you want to do a video, so I want to do from 0 to 90 frames. No, no I'd say 0 to 80 frames, just to be awkward. Um, so what you do is you go to the render settings. You'd go to output. You'd go frame range, now you can either do all frames which is basically this number to this number so you can change these numbers, so if I go 200 it will render out 200 as long as you've got all frames selected so I'll just keep that at 90 again, but if you want to you want to keep these numbers the same but you just want to render it out to 80 what you do is you just select from and to, so you want to render from frame, one, uh, frame 0 so that's alright, to frame 85, so just change that 85F for 85 frames and then you sorted but again if you want to come render you want to do like a 720p video your width and height do come into it um, 720p is 1280 by 720 that's what I always use I don't really use anything else um, and then you can set up your camera and then render to shit do what you want okay so once we've got that sorted out we've got the frames that we sorry uh, losing breath and um, we've got the frames that we want to render, if you go to save, a PNG, now you can do pictures for this, this is where it will get a bit confusing for some of you, but most people would do something like AVI movie, but if you have QuickTime, which I do recommend you get, do QuickTime movie, um, options, animation, H.264, and that's an MP4 standard video, you don't need to, all you have to do is render it out, it's fine, you don't need to compress it, it does all that within Cinema 4D, so that's a little bit useful. Um, but if you do have, I, I know I have this problem sometimes. When I render QuickTime, sometimes it says unable, like halfway through the render it says unable to write, and it cancels the whole render. So what I do now actually is, pr is pr pretty decent actually. I go to a QuickTime PNG, which is again pictures again, but if even if I want to do a video, um, I will just select, I won't select alpha channel because I say I want the black background, say I want that, um, and I just add a little camera just to show you guys, so select the keyframe here, zoom out a bit, and the camera is going in. Um, this is how I would render out long animations, and there's a few benefits and that, that come with it, uh, as I'll explain in a minute, so I'll select QuickTime PNG and I will go to file, so where shall I save that? I usually just make a desktop uh, a folder on the desktop just saying render or whatever the render is called but I'm just going to call it render click in, just name it anything, save 
And what I'll do is when I render it out, it will render each frame as a picture. So if I go into that folder now, you will see lots of pictures just getting added to it. And the reason for that is when you render out a picture, it it renders a better quality than what it will a video. A picture will always have higher quality than a video. So if you render out shitloads of pictures, like I am now, obviously the, the animation is basic and shit, but if, if you was to do this with an advanced animation, which I do myself, it will, what you do is you add the whole PNG sequence into After Effects or something like that, so you have high quality pictures in a video, instead of a compressed video which is slightly down, uh, like lower quality, so if I just add that into After Effects, it's still a video, once I put it into After Effects, but it's just rendered out in pictures. Um, so if, if you have the problem of, oh, it's unable to write halfway through the render on QuickTime, this is another alternative, which is a, bit, a lot better um, for the overall outcome as well. So that's one little problem that I've solved there. So what have we done? We've done, we've done uh, the output, the width height, we've done the frame range, we've done the saves, we've done the format, alpha channel and obviously you know what to do there. I don't think there's anything else wrong with the render but I'll just quickly show you this. So if we come and import this file sequence that we've just rendered, what you do is you just click on the first picture and it has PNG sequence tick. So that's all good, we just open it up and it will come up as a PNG sequence at 30 frames per second. Drag that into a composition, just set that down to half just so we can render it quickly and it is a video but it is rendered in pictures and it's high quality if I just put it on full it will be high quality that's not really high quality there but that's because I've had to zoom in and it gets all pixelated but you'll get the highest quality rendering out a picture than you would a video so I would recommend doing a PNG sequence like a picture sequence which will be opened up as a video so that's sort of something that I just learned myself when I thought might be useful for you guys so I uh, don't need that no more. I think, oh fuck off. I think that's pretty much it for rendering. Um, I'm not even going to go into all this option shit because I don't even use them. So, I think that's pretty much it. I don't go into depth like this shitty depth. Oh, you can't change it anyway. But, um, I think that is pretty much it. But, actually, you know what? Just, just delete that. A lot of people don't select file so when they come to render oh okay render and say there's no file name specific you click yes it will start rendering out but it'll only render it out in cinema 4d it's not actually being saved into a certain directory i don't think anyways because as you can see here this is um what the thing's called so because Oh no, sorry, I just got a bit muddled there. Because it's got no file sort of output destination, it won't actually be saved anywhere. So make sure you put that in. So just click here, choose where you want to save it, documents, and then rename it, and then click save, and it'll save as that name in that destination. So um, yeah, I hope this has helped, you guys. I think I've pretty much run through most problems. Um, I'm happy to do a few more videos on any more problems which I could potentially help you with. Just send me a message if I haven't covered it in this video and I'll try and get back to you. I always reply to my comments and messages. So, um, yeah, if you have any queries, message me and I'll see what I can do. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.